Welcome to Catholic News World. At Fatima, Portugal, from May to October 1917, three shepherd children, Blessed Francisco and Jacinto Mardo, and servant of God Lucia dos Santos, saw apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary on a small home oak tree. During the, these visions, the children were given secrets, were instructed to pray the rosary and to offer penance for the conversion of sinners. In the September apparition, Our Lady told them, Continue to pray the rosary in order to obtain the end of the war. In October Saint Joseph will appear with the child Jesus in order to bless the world. On October 13 over 70,000 people gathered around the site of the apparitions. People from different walks of life, including atheists who had gone to attack the children, witnessed what is now famously known as the miracle of the sun. During the miracle of the sun, the three shepherd children were witnessing what the Virgin had promised them in September. A cold rain had been falling throughout the night and into the day. Moved by an inner impulse, Lucia asked the people to shut their umbrellas and pray the rosary. At noon, Our Lady appeared over the home oak she told Lucia several things. As Our Lady ascended up into the sky, Lucy shouted, She's going! She's going! Look at the sun! Then the miracle Our Lady had promised began. The sky cleared and the people could look at the sun without it hurting their eyes at all. Then the sun began to spin in place. Then it started to fall, plunging towards the earth. The sun became very large in the sky and very hot. It looked as if it was going to fall on top of the people and kill them all, as if it was the end of the world. So, the people fell on their knees in the mud and cried to God for mercy, begging Our Lady for her help, her intercession, and her prayers. Suddenly, the sun stopped falling and went back up into the sky to its regular place. Then the people got up from their knees and they all began to notice that their clothes were dry and clean. Not only that, but many sick persons were cured that day, the blind were able to see and the lame could walk. Many sinners were converted too. They stopped sinning and went to confession, and then lived according to God's commandments. Lucia explained what they saw. Our Lady having disappeared in the immensity of the firmament, we saw, beside the sun, Saint Joseph with the child Jesus and Our Lady clothed in white with a blue mantle. Saint Joseph and the child Jesus appeared to bless the world, for they traced the sign of the cross with their hands. Here we have Saint Joseph, no words are spoken by him, but rather we have his actions. Saint Joseph, holding his son Jesus, blesses the world by tracing the sign of the cross with his hand. By giving his special blessing to the world, Joseph shows us that he is still vigilant in his role as patron of the Catholic Church, as proclaimed in 1870 by Pius IX, and still keeps watch over the faithful entrusted to his care. Popes Pius XII, Paul VI, John Paul II and Benedict XVI all accepted the supernatural origin of the Fatima. The local bishop declared that, 1. The visions of the three children are credible and, 2. The veneration of the Blessed Virgin is permitted, the Portuguese bishops approved and declared the genuine supernatural nature of the event. The Vatican responded with granting indulgences and permitting special liturgies of the Mass to be celebrated in Fatima. The Fatima message continues. It does not end here we are continually called by Our Lady to pray the Rosary daily, make sacrifices and go to confession. Only in this way will Jesus bring His peace and stop the evils in the world today. As promised by Our Lady, God soon took Francisco and Jacinta to heaven. Francisco died on April 4, 1919 and Jacinta on February 20, 1920. Lucia was left here on earth to tell everyone about Fatima. She was to make Our Lady known and loved, and to spread devotion to her Immaculate Heart. Lucia explained that on the 13th of July 1917, the Virgin Mary entrusted the children with three secrets. According to various Catholic interpretations, the three secrets involve hell, World War I and World War II, and 20th century persecutions of Christians. The eldest of the three visionaries, Lucia de Jesus Rosa dos Santos, was born on the 28th of March 1907 and died on the 13th of February 2005. She was also known by her religious name Sister Maria Lucia of Jesus and of the Immaculate Heart. Lucia became a Catholic Discalced Carmelite nun. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Amen. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. 
Thanks and God bless.